Okay, so we've done the brow, we've done the eye makeup, and now we're gonna do like a little clean up underneath. And then I'm gonna give you some moisturizer. So just get the Marcella, Marcella water, that one we had earlier, and we're just gonna literally clean up the mess you made, not me. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but if you could probably see, like the camera will probably pick it up. You can see like literally underneath her eyes just open. That's where like the drop is has happened, what I was talking about. So if you just look up for me, babe, and then you just take that away. Straight away and it makes it all nice and clean. And then I'm gonna add some moisturizer. You said you, you, you wore my moisturizer, yeah? <clears throat> Daily? Yep. Yeah, one with an SPF as well. Good. It's important. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to literally plop the moisturiser all over the head. All over your forehead, down the nose, down the side of the face. Nice circular motions. Never drag your skin down. Don't ever put moisturiser on like this. You always want to go up. Always go upwards. Keep the skin up and tight. By doing this as well, you get the skin, the blood flow moving around the skin, then the skin's elasticity literally pops through rather than being sort of dull. You move the blood flow around the face, basically. Mm -hmm. That's why you tend to get that dark circles, because obviously you've got a pocket here, and so the blood sits in the pocket. Mm -hmm. And if you don't move it, it becomes deoxygenized, and therefore the blood becomes darker. And the skin is thinner, and then it shows through, which is the dark circles. Do you use an eye cream? Yeah, I try to, yeah. But I never get rid of those dark circles. They're a bugger, aren't they? Mm. I like the science bit though, thanks for that. Yeah, so it's just basically the, the, the blood down, sitting in the pocket of the, of, the, of the socket of the eye. And you literally, you know, if it's not moving, the blood goes dark. And then, um, shows through the skin. Okay, so we've done that. Now we're going to do some under eye concealer. Again, this is what you said, no? This was like one of your things. Yeah, this is something I am interested in. So you just take a little bit of concealer. I think you need to use, like some people like can get away with, just open babe. Some people can get away with using like, you know, like a highlighting highlighting concealer but for you this is probably one of your areas where your sort of most problem areas is mm. so you need something a bit thicker a bit heavier just to like you know for that extra bit of coverage so you don't wouldn't be really beneficial for you to use a light reflector because the light reflector is not going to give you any coverage um, you need just a bit more a bit heavier but you don't want it too um, too thick Mm. because then what will happen is it'll go it's quite drying if it gets thick and then once it's on the skin it kind of like makes the skin more do you know what I mean it sort of crumples a bit yeah so we're just going to put the concealer all the way under the eye does that feel all right yeah you said yeah I <laughs> know yeah, it's getting close to my eye but it's fine yeah it's fine I'm not going to poke you in the eye yeah. She says as she pokes her in the eye. No, I'm joking. No, I'm joking. Um, and then what I would use is your finger mainly. So you can literally apply the actual um, concealer um, with a with a brush. I normally tend, would tend to use a brush because I feel like if you're using a concealer just straight from your finger onto the under eye, I feel like the transfer from the the finger, it's not, you know, you need to place it. You need to place the concealer and then tap it in. So you kind of tap it under the eye as well. So you kind of like mush it in. If you start with it on the finger, you're just transferring it. So it's not actually sitting right. So you can just blend that out nicely now with your finger. Go all the way up. And you just literally keep tapping it. Does that feel all right? Mm -hmm. Don't feel like I'm gonna poke you in the eye. Yeah? So again, you need something a bit thicker than a, than a highlighter under the eye because that's your problem area. Mm. 
And that's what you say you suffer with. Do you say you use a night cream? Yeah, I do use all sorts of creams, but... See, yeah. so you're really good with your skincare, but not so much as the aftercare. Yeah, I don't kind of do more than that. Yeah. But do you feel like now, like, you know, you've, you know, you're, you will start to just do a little bit more? Yeah, it's, it's really interesting, all the stuff you've told me already. And it's, I'll uh, definitely try a few more things at home. Obviously, a few more goes with the mascara one before I take Well, that yeah, public. because that ended up on your nose, love. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm going to give you the mascara wand back in a minute. I'm going to see how you're going to get on with the bottom lashes. That's, that could be fun and games, couldn't it? <laughs> right, OK. Now, I quite like, um, yeah, I quite like all the, um, the CC and the BB creams, but you're not going to get as much coverage there. Mm. So if you want a bit more, you know, that's literally, it's just a tint within a moisturiser. Um, but obviously, with a bit of base, you're going to get more coverage. And again, I'm using a flat foundation brush just to apply the foundation. And again, we're just going to, again, nice and light and soft. You don't want to overload your skin. There's no point using the back of your hand because the back of the hand has different skin tone to your face. Mm. That's what really annoys me when people are like, well, let's just try that foundation. Well, why are you putting it on your hand? Because the foundation is not going to go on your hand. Why don't you try it on your face where it's actually going to go? Do you know what I mean? Mm. So, um, yeah, so we just... Blend this in. And again, like I said to you about the under eye area, with this buffering technique, with this badger brush, I call it, because it's got a little white ass, um, you literally blend it in around the skin and it literally livens the skin up. So it gives the blood flow around the face and then the skin, its own natural elasticity, literally comes through. So you're actually shining through your own skin rather than masking masking anything like we like we, i told you about the under eye area about mm. the pockets of blood sitting in the socket go for the um bottom lashes do you want to do it do you want to have a laugh <laughs> you trust me not to ruin the rest of it again do, you want me to do one eye you do the other okay yes yeah, see, sure see how i'm going with that well, i can't even get into it can someone help well, yeah, that's my <laughs> it's like opening a makeup opening <laughs> skills <laughs> Your reputation yeah, precedes okay. you. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Thank it's like you. A champagne bottle. <laughs> right, okay. Just look up. <laughs> and again, if, just let me know if you feel like your eye's going to water. How's that feel? Thank um, you. Stabbing you in the eye? No, it's a very light touch. Thanks. Right, now, do you think you go on the go? Yeah, we'll try. I've um, given you the good eye. Get a, You've got yeah. the good eye. What's the good eye? Oh, it's the more awkward on one. The, on the that right, one's yeah. the awkward mm. eye, you see? Mm. So that one's where she got it. Less likely to stab mm. myself in the face. Right, go like nice and careful. There you go. Oh, mm. there you go. That's it. Why do we always pull that face? Yep. Mm. <laughs> Some mascara. It's fun, isn't it? I don't know. We all do it though, don't we? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I do it all the time. Yeah. 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 All the time. Yeah, all the time. You've done a really good job there. Yeah, I only poked myself in the eye once. Good job I wear contact lenses, isn't it? <laughs> there you go. Boom. Yeah. Done. Done. This iridescent powder, putting it in the inner corner, won't necessarily make your eyes look whiter. It just makes them more pop and open. So you've got the lighter colour there, so it sort of opens that inner corner. So it's right in there where, the, where almost like the smallest part of your eye would be. Then you're kind of like lifting that bit open there and again like I said to you before like when you've got when you do get your brushes which you're going to do um then you get your clean brush we've just put that a little bit of that um iridescent, iridescent powder in the inner corner and then you literally just sweep all, all over the lid and then you can just make sure like you've literally all blended so you again making sure that the eyeshadow you can't see where one eyeshadow has been applied to where the next eyeshadow has been applied. So we've had our base eyeshadow, we had the pencil in the lash line and we blended that up and then we did a little bit in the socket. Mm -hmm. So literally that is it. So you can have like in your makeup bag, the eye pencil and the two eyeshadows. And you've got your mascara and you're already, you're already good at your brows anyway. So you can just fill them in a little bit, like we said, again, Remember, sisters, not twins. And then I'm going to give you a little bit of powder and then I'm going to give you a bit of lips. 
And then, again, did you say you wear a lo no, no lipstick? No, no, I don't really know. I'm going to give you a really nice soft colour so you don't... It's not too, too much, not too overbearing. And it'd be easy for you to use. I think you'll be better off with, like, um, a crayon or a pencil because it's quick and easy to use and you don't have to um, mess about with lip liner and then lipstick and then, you know, I'm making sure you're getting the lips, you know, the lip line right, you're not going over the edges and you don't want to look like a cartoon character. <laughs> so I'm just going to give you some powder and this is just to basically set the makeup. It's not, it's not anything heavy, it doesn't really do much else other than just makes the skin a bit brighter and, and mattes down. You don't want to look like, especially on the T-zone, so your T-zone is obviously down and across here and then down the nose, the side of the nose. And beforehand, I just put some lip balm on and that's just like a, you know, a lip conditioner just to, to make the lips feel nicer. So this is just like a lip pencil, but it's got a bit of moisture to it. Mm. So you're gonna, again, nice and quick and easy to use and just literally like I'm doing now, it's a nice soft color. It's more to like your lip tone. So it's just enhancing your lips rather than actually giving a statement. Do you know what I mean? So you literally just blend again, make, sh make sure you don't go over the lines. Um, and just 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 fill in your own natural own natural look because you've actually got really nice lips, you know. Really? Yeah, you actually you have. And then literally, the bow of the lip here. Don't go too high up. Blend it down. And again, you can see I'm, I'm being quite. You know, I'm not being too precise. It's just you know, it's just like a washer colour, just to accentuate your own lip colour. And then we're gonna end up with a little bit of blush. Just a little, couple of little dots across, and again, nearly done. And one tip that we do, I use um, with a little highlighter is then you could just, with, with your highlighter, do you remember we used the highlighter on here, and we used to put a little bit in there, and then we put it in the corner. You can just brush it on the bow of the lip, pat it in, and it just makes your lip, accentuate your lips a bit, maybe on the end of the nose, maybe down there. Boom.